Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are across the globe. Welcome to Esther's Inspirational Message. Well, today is Tuesday, is it? Maybe it's Tuesday, maybe it's Monday. It's one of those things where, you know, each day is sort of turning into each other. But I just want to share for this message today the sense of feeling a little enclosed at this moment in time. You know, I woke up this morning, I actually slept for more than 12 hours. My body's tired for some reason. But also I believe that I am, as an empath, you know, picking up the collective energy of everything that's happening out there. And as I said, you know, these are some, I would say, trying times. You know, there's the paradox of the good, the bad and the ugly all happening at one time and in the middle of all of that is how we deal with, how we process, how we manage, how we become flexible, how we adapt to everything that's going on in our lives. And at this particular time in life for the globe, because you know this, I would say this virus is a global pandemic, you know, so many of us are having to manage on so many different levels. And yesterday I spoke about some of the processes that I use to manage, like I said, exercise, um, dance. But also what I did forget to say is that I also meditate, I pray. And sometimes I do that even before I go to bed at night. So I'll find some nighttime meditation that can seep into my subconscious as I sleep. And then also this morning meditation. I must admit the past few mornings I've not done that. I've just got up and I've exercised, but there's so many different things. There's yoga and there's prayer, you know, if you're if you're part of a religious group. So there are lots of different things that can help you. But also there's a reality. I like to try and keep things real. There's a reality in terms of sometimes you might not want to get up and do any of those things. Sometimes the, the energy of everything is going to take you down. I went shopping yesterday at Tesco's and there was a lady who works there and she was, you know, had to keep saying over the tannoy about keeping distance and just give an order to how things were happening in the supermarket. And when I passed her by, she said she was drained. She goes, she's drained by everything that's happening. She's drained by when she puts on the television, that constant bombardment of what's happening with this whole virus thing. People coming in and the conversation is about the virus thing. And she was feeling drained. And I realized that there are a lot of us now who are feeling drained by the energy of it all. So some of the tips that I would like to share with you, other than dancing and exercising also is, um, if you've got Epsom salts or Himalayan salts, have a nice hot bath at the end of the day or the middle of the day because we've got time to do whatever we want to throughout the day anyway because, you know, everyone's pretty much on lockdown. And also, something else that might work for you is sometimes just staying in your bed and vegetating because that's how I felt a couple of times. I just didn't feel the need to get up and do anything. It didn't mean that I wanted to stay there all the time, but sometimes just that's just the way you feel. So go with it. Just go with how you're feeling in that moment in time. But it's also important to have people around you um, on the phone, whether you text, WhatsApp, that you can connect with, that can get you out of that if you feel yourself spiraling. Because like I said, there is a reality. You know, lots of people are talking about this shift being a time for us to reflect and to get to know ourselves, get to know our family, get to bond and all those wonderful things, you know, get to relax. I know there's been people who've been working some really long hours and this is probably the first time in a long time that they've been able to take time out. But also there are so many other realities that are beginning to influence or impact that state of being. Um, I heard from someone this morning that within the past two, three weeks, you know, he's had two people die. Um, and, you know, we're, we're just hearing some physical realities. And so in the midst of that, what I'm, this message basically today is to say, you know, sometimes you might not want to get out of your bed. Yeah, sometimes you might not want to work out. You might not even want to talk to anybody, even in your space of self-isolation. And that is okay. That's fine because that moment too will pass. Yeah, so don't always feel you have to be up and you know, you're meditating and you're exercising and you know, you're on the phone talking to your friend and you know, you're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, you know, that's not always gonna be the place you wanna be. So when you learn to more stand in your truth and say, actually today, I just wanna stay in my bed and do nothing or just watch Netflix or watch YouTube or whatever it is, 
just know that that's okay. So this is Esther's inspirational message and just keep safe, keep well and just keep putting one foot in front of the other because this time will pass.